Can you guys hear that? Man, that reminds me of cars back in the islands where I'm from. Their suspensions are shot. And that's what they sound like cruising past down the street. There's something stuck in between my cab and my tub of my ute and I need to pry it out. We'll check it out later on. Annoying. 2780. Oh, they're loading up today. See how the bro goes. Something is caught in there that I need to get out. Oh well. You're going to be in here today because it is raining. I'll come back. Here we have the next. It's a doozy. Absolute doozy. It's all awkward stuff, but <laughs> there's a lot of it. How am I going to get to that? Okay, I think it stopped raining. The camera is waterproof, but I don't want it to get wet because I got a microphone sock on it. Anyway, let's do this. Was that an earthquake? That was an earthquake, yeah. What the heck? Biggest one we've ever had. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to hand with some of that? Nah, it's okay, mate. I'll it's take... It's almost too big to believe it, not come and give you a hand later. 
Okay, yeah, all right. Would you yeah. like a cup of tea or coffee? No, nah, no, no, thank you. Thank you, though, anyway. That's all right. I'm going to get stuck in. Okay, please. Thank you. You guys hear that swirling sound? The wind is getting underneath the sheets on top of my roof. Oh, it's annoying. I can't, I can't wait to get this load off. Bruh. No. No good. 2840. 28.40 Man, I can't wait to get this off What a sketchy load Not only sketchy, annoying That screeching, swirling sound <laughs> And that little thing that's stuck behind uh, My cab and my tray It's rattling away Anyway, let's do this Oh, look at this guy, cool You are a legend of all legends
man. Well, I'm glad he took that off by the forklift. That makes it a little easier. I'm gonna hold on to these and sort them out at my scrapyard. I mean, storage unit. Yeah. Anyway, let's do another round. not pretty twenty eight hundred twenty eight hundred Thank God that is gone. Not a fan of gutters. Not a fan. batteries and alloy rims guttering the only catch with the rims is I gotta take these steel ones but yeah alloy rims batteries oh man we made it am I s I'm so glad to see this place this load we have on is heavy and it's top heavy at that which it's swaying all types of ways that you don't want it to sway Thirty.
3180. 3180, that's the heaviest I've seen it. That was an amazing day in so many ways. I learned so much. I think I'm done with that tin sheet metal. That is not my friend right now. Anyway, let's weigh out and do the thing. Okay, just quickly, let's have a look at our shopping list of scrap today. It was one of the most amazing days today. It was amazing and it was tough so let's start at the top pressing steel 340 kilos that wasn't the first load i think it's actually backwards should we start at the bottom let's start at the bottom 460 kilos was our first load which was actually the steel that i picked up the day before that was 460 kilos of pressing at 24 cents 111 dollars and 32 cents now the very next load was the same 460 kilos of pressing 24 cents $111.32 and then I came again for 320 kilos this time for $77.44 now on that same trip I also had some heavy thick steel which was um, truck drum brakes and rotors so there was 81 kilos of that stuff at 39 cents a kilo $32.08 that's very good and there was also some aluminium, domestic aluminium. It was three kilos of that at $1.32. $1.32 per kilo, so $3.96. Now it all adds up, I guess. Uh, on that same load, there was irony aluminium, which was, I found they had a bunch of um, crutches and walking sticks as well as just other scrappy aluminium bits that had steel stuck on it as well. Oh, what else was there? I can't remember off the top of my head. But we separated that and there was 23 kilos of that irony aluminium at 55 cents a kilo, $12.65. Uh, he had a bunch of sinks at this one house. This, mind you, this was all one day was all one stop, one pickup. Amazing. He had 24 kilos of stainless steel sinks at $1.54 per kilo, $36.96. And lastly, the last load, which was sketchy as hell, because I had um, those iron sheeting, roofing sheets leaned up on top of the tires, and it was sort of overhanging, so it made the trailer top heavy and a bit, you know, a bit how you going anyway that last load was 340 kilos and they gave us 82 dollars and 28 cents for that okay grand total all up 468 dollars and one cent don't forget the one cent it all adds up uh again amazing day i learned a lot i, I learned a heap 
I'm not going to mess with that sheeting, ironing. If anyone calls me to pick up some of that roofing sheets, the iron, the, what is it called? Corrugated sheets. I'm going to turn that down. Respectfully, I will turn that down. I'll have to kindly refuse. But other than that, amazing day. Earthquakes and all. There was a little 6, 6 6.0 on the Richter scale earthquake. I didn't quite capture it on camera, but it was something different. I didn't even think it was a earthquake. I, I thought they were like, they had massive roller doors or their their windows were roller roller windows and they were rolling them open, but they weren't. <laughs> it was just the earthquake shaking the windows. Just another amazing day on the scrap. I unloaded a lot. Luckily our neighbors, because they're moving out, they um, allowed me to put these four win uh, wheels here. Just generic steel rim. But I have kept all the good ones that I think I could sell. Just here. So, that is, I'm going to attempt to resell them. The rest of these, I think they're generic ones. I can't really tell with those ones, they're really corroded at the back. But, I think I'm going to take these ones to the scrapyard. But for now, I'm going to head over to our storage unit and I'm going to put all this away because I need all the space that I can get. Okay, let's go. So there we go, empty tray, these wheels are going straight to the scrapyard tomorrow morning so I can, um, I don't want to deal with them, I was going to cash them in, seven something each, so like $30 there, our batteries are in their place, this is almost ready to go, sometime this week, extruded this week surely, look at it, bursting out of the bin. Oh, what a day, actually. What a day. What a day. I learned a lot about scrapping today. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video, leave a comment down below as well if you want to. That'd be cool. I... Yeah. I'm exhausted. Can't wait to get home. Hope you enjoyed that one. I will uh, hopefully see you on the next one.